Hello and welcome to chapter 5, part 3. In this part, we'll start work on our lose screen. First of all, starting with the actual effect that we have when we lose the game. So for this, we're going to go to our game mode. So go to your game settings, open up your maze game mode. And in here, we're going to create a custom event for us losing. So type in custom event and call it lose. Now when we lose, we want to do a couple of things. We first of all want to disable all the input the player has on the player character. So right click, get player character. And then from there, disable input. We also need to give it the player controller. So get player controller as well. So when we lost, when we call this lose function, we tell the player to no longer move based on our inputs. After that, I want the screen to go red. So for that, we need to get the camera manager. So get player camera manager. And we're going to take the start fading to a color. So start the camera fade. And the camera fade function has a from alpha, a to alpha, a duration, and a color. The from alpha is its starting point. So at zero is where we want it to be. And the alpha to alpha is its end point. I'm going to give this a value of 0.8. So it's not entirely covering the whole entire screen, it's got some transparency. The duration is how long it's going to take to fade between these two values, so I'm going to do 2 seconds. And the colour I'm going to give it is a nice red colour. Like so. We also want to set it to hold when finished. That means the fade will hold itself at the end of this colour without resetting back to its uh, default. Click Compile and we close that. So now we need to know when to call that lose event. So go into your player character and find where you're taking damage. At the end of this whole entire piece of code we want to check how much health the player has and if it's at zero or below we want to call the, that lose event. So, get, drag out your health and choose get. And then we will com compare that with zero. So it's less than or equal to zero. Put that into a branch. Now if it's true, that means we've lost. So we need to call the game modes lose function. Fortunately, we have just used the maze game mode cast in the previous part. And we can actually use that exact same code on here and call the lose function like so and click compile test this out we get ourselves killed by the arrows and so we get hit by once twice and a third time takes us to the loose screen. So alongside that we should also remove the heart and the skull head up display. So I'm going to go into my loose function again in my maze game mode and at the end here I'm going to drag my head up display reference out and tell that to remove itself from the parent. Hit compile. Test this out. Get hit once, twice, three times, and there we go. So, join us in the next part where we create a little menu at the end here indicating that the player has lost and giving them the option to either retry the level or quit the game. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in part four. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.